Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Uh, today is week three. So this is the third stage of being a successful private trainer. If you missed the first two weeks, make sure and go watch those. The first week we talked about the idea and taking action. The second week we talked about getting started. Today we're going to be talking about getting clients. And this is something I talk about a lot in our ebook and video series, which I will give you for free if you leave us a review on iTunes. Um, I'll hook that up for you, it's absolutely free. But when we think about getting clients, this is where I see not only myself back, back in the day, but a lot of coaches, this is where a lot of coaches screw up. When they think about getting clients, they think, well, I need to go sell and I don't know how to sell and I'm nervous selling and it causes a lot of anxiety within coaches' heads because they're not used to selling. But what we have to think about here when we think about getting our first initial clients is at the beginning of your business, we need to have kids that you're training. And the best way to do that is be very scrappy. So hopefully you can see this. And when I say scrappy, I mean, you got to do whatever it takes to get clients into the door. And I'll tell you exactly what I did. All right. I did this. I remember the first three to four weeks of my business, I went out to the soccer field to games and I talked to as many parents as I possibly could. And I gave them all my business card, which I don't recommend you give anyone a business card, but I gave everyone my card. I got some numbers. I made some phone calls and eventually I landed my first client. If I would have just stayed in my comfort zone and if I wasn't scrappy, that would have never happened. And I would never be here right now doing this video unless I did that back in the day. That required me stepping outside of my comfort zone to go get clients. I wasn't going to wait around and be like, oh, I, I hope someone randomly finds my phone number and gives me a call. That is not how it works. At the beginning, when you first start getting clients, you have to be scrappy and that is up to you. That is not up to me. I'm not going to come over to your house and wake you up at six o'clock in the morning and force you to get clients. That falls on your shoulders. And at the beginning, that's what we need to do. After you start getting clients, when you have systems in place, you don't have to be that scrappy. You will have systems in place where clients are being attracted to what you are doing. At the very beginning though, because you won't have that set up, we have to be scrappy. And this, in my opinion, is the most critical aspect of your business in the beginning. Notice how I'm not talking about a website. I'm not talking about logos. I'm not talking about gear. I'm not talking about equipment. I'm talking about being scrappy, doing the things that you're probably uncomfortable doing at the beginning. That is going to get you as many clients as you want because no one's going to be in your way except for yourself. I really hope you take this and you run with it because when you get clients, when they understand how much you care about helping them, they're, they're going to want to train with you. That's just the way, that's just the way the world works, <laughs> right? So we got to be scrappy. And when you start getting clients, now what we need to do, if you watched the last video, we talked about, you know, being a pro, having a good first impression. Well, once we get clients, if you're, you're a pro, why would they want to leave your program? It doesn't make sense to me why anyone would want to leave your program if they're getting results, if you're a pro, if you're organized and you're the coach and the mentor that these kids need. All right. So make sure if you have any questions about this, ask me below, ask me below in the comment section. And if you want a free copy of my ebook and video series, make sure and head over to iTunes. Leave me a review on our podcast. We have a daily podcast and this podcast is something that we also post here on YouTube daily, but go over there, leave me a review. My goal is to help out thousands of new coaches who want to quit their job and do training full time. And the best way we can help those coaches is if you leave a review and when you leave me the review, I will hook you up again with the ebook and video series that hundreds of coaches have gone through and a lot of those coaches have paid for it and I'm going to give it to you for free. Just leave me a review. That's it. I'll see you next week on week four.